Okay, boys and girls, welcome to week seven. Uh, um, m m I'm gonna, I can't say day one because we actually just named it Monday, week seven, okay? So, on Monday for math, you are going to count money. This is a 50 cent coin, okay? So when you count that, this, you have to count the 50 cents plus this other, um, these other coins and then write how much it equals, okay? And then number two is doing place value. Number three, you have to add these. Um, I'm gonna, I'll do help with this one and then you can do this one. Nine plus three, that is 12. Okay, so I'm gonna write that on top. Now I also have to make this, this box plus five equal 12 also, because they have to equal each other, which is 12. So they both have to equal 12. Five plus what equals 12? Okay, we're gonna have to put that in the box. Whatever five plus something else equals 12. All right, and then down here, you're going to count these uh, base 10 blocks. And then tell me if those base 10 blocks are less than, greater than, or equal to 178. And then you're gonna add for number five. And on uh, number six, I already, I accidentally had already did this video once and I was gonna redo it. So um, your top number, you're gonna write the fraction for the shaded parts. Your top part of your fraction, boys and girls, is gonna be how many are shaded. So six are shaded for A. And then how many total boxes goes on the bottom? So there are nine boxes total. So six ninths is the fraction. You're gonna go ahead and do B, C, and D by yourself. The next page is A, B, C order on your words. Take your time on this, boys and girls. It took Mrs. Ackerman a little bit because the there's a lot of words with the that start the same sunshine sandals sunglasses swimming sunscreen sand castle all those s's were a lot of work to um to figure out what their order was so you might have to um you might have to erase and try again if you mess up okay um just make sure that you're trying to look at the next letters to see which one would go first in here okay and then oh i was also doing this on you so the last page for today we're only doing three pages a day this week um you are going to circle the word that has the same vowel sound as the word in the bold okay so this is the top part so if i have this word in bold which is paid now I'm gonna sound it out, p, a, the vowel says a. Then I'm going to look at the rest of these. We have string, does that say a? No. Pay, does that say a? Yes. Pow, does that say a? No, that's a lower, or that's a short vowel, not the long vowel. Okay, teach, uh, t, E, the vowel says E. So then I'm gonna look right here. T aim, that says A, that's not an E sound. P et, pet, that says E, doesn't say E. D eep, that says E. Okay, so I would circle that. You can do that with the rest of these. Then for the homophones, they have you doing, homophones are, Words that sound the same but are spelled differently. You are doing the three different kind of twos. This first kind of two, T-O, is like um, you're gonna go somewhere, okay? And then T-O-O -O means also, like I want that too, okay? I want that also. Or it can also mean like something is too much, like it's excessive. So, um, if you were talking about a roller coaster ride and, and your parents asked if you wanted to go to it and you said, no, that will be too scary, you would use this kind of two in that sentence, okay? It's too much, okay? Too much scariness. And then this kind of two, T-W-O, is like the number two, like you have two of something, all right? 
that is Monday, day one of week seven. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will try to help you as best I can. Hope you have a great week. Work hard. Thank you. Bye.